Good morning, Nakalo SAP students. Uh, what I wanted to discuss with you today is how to configure the automatic payment program in SAP. Um, I've looked on YouTube, there are a lot of very good videos on configuring automatic payment program in SAP uh, and getting the automatic payment program to run in SAP. But I'm going to add to the plethora of videos by making my own. So, with the automatic payment program to configure it, the first thing that you have to do is you have to type into the uh, status bar of the SAP Easy Access screen FVVP, which I have already done. Okay, so what that will do is that will take you into this table called Maintain Payment Program. And when you are in this table, then what you will have is you will have six options. And I'm just going to take you through the various options which I have already configured. But this is all the, on this screen, you would have to go to every single one of these menu bars and configure every single one of them in order to get the automatic payment program to run. So the first thing that you would go to is you would go into company codes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up a company code that I've been working on, that I have created. I'll call that up, and then this is just a, a training, opened up a training system, and you can click on to details, and that will show you the information that I have put into the system. Now, there's a lot of information that you can put into the system. Now, I uh, what I would do is I will go ahead, um, the paying company and the sending company are the same. So, SAB just takes it that if uh, the sending company is blank, then the paying company and the sending company will be the same. So, I just left that blank. But, in theory, you could, if the sending company was different, then you could type that in. And I've already configured that for you. The next thing that you would do is you would click on to the paying company codes. Okay, so what I will do is I will call up um, a company code that I've been working on. So this is the company code that I've been working on and then you can click on to details and again that will give you some information about the paying company code so I said a minimum amount for incoming payment was one pound and a minimum amount for outgoing payment is one pound but the client will tell you uh, what he actually wants to put into it you can also set up for forms it will tell you which forms to set up and uh, in the SAP documentation, they have several defaults set up, so you can always set SAP APP up for the defaults that are in the PDF files that you get when you attend SAP training. And then here's some more information, which this information had been given to me, because basically you will be given what information you want to use to actually configure the SAP um, APP program. The next thing you would have, you would have a button called Payment Method in Country. And what this does is this actually sets you up for every single company. So I'm in the UK, so I'm just going to go into Great Britain. So what I'll do is I'll click on to check, you know, there's many different payment methods, but I'll just click on to check, and you can view that, and it will tell you method C, check, it will tell you it's good for outgoing payments, check, uh, post office current account method, um, it will ask you lots of information, and then you can just uh, put in the basic information, and you would be told, the client would tell you how to set it up. OK, 
okay so we'll go back into check and then we could check it into currencies allowed button so in the way it was set up here the currencies allowed were in British pounds and euros go back into check again and it said note to payee and we don't have anything on note to payee there's nothing there but that is how you would set it up for the country code so it would have to be set up for the country code and every single one of these parameters which I only click on to check would have to be set up so direct debit would have to be set up tax transfer would have to be set up as well so the next uh, button you go into is payment methods and company codes and basically what you do is you set it up for uh, which payments your company code is going to use. So I've been working on this company called, called Stacy. So uh, I decided that company called, code called Stacy is going to be uh, accept check and direct debit. I could have selected more, but I chose not to. Okay, so then you can set it up. Again, the client will tell you what he wants to set it up for. So I set up no minimum amount, a maximum amount was 250,000 um, pounds. And other data, you know, you can set it up any way the client tells you they want it set up. Uh, you set it up for the form data. And I had set this form data up according to what was in the PDF files that I was given on SAP and so I'm just showing you the check but you also would have to check it on the direct debit the next button you have is bank determination okay now on bank determination what you would do is you would find your company code so I've been working on a company called Stacy or Stace S T A C. So basically what you would have to do is you can click on the button that says ranking order and it said that uh, I set it up for my house bank and my house bank was Lloyd's, which I set that up. It said British pounds would be one, euros would be two, US dollars would be three. That's for checks and then direct debit. Uh, British pounds would be four. Next thing you go back onto Stacy's, you set it up for your banking accounts. So basically, we set it up with the house bank was Lloyd's Bank, uh, and we set it up for checks, we set it up for the currency, we set it up for the bank account, and I called mine BUSST, and then we called it the bank sub account, that would be your general ledger account. Again, you would go click on to available limits, and again, the uh, the client would tell you what you wanted the available limits to be. So I set mine up for for um, for five days. The available limit was twenty thousand pounds, and for one hundred and eighty days, the available limit was one hundred and eighty thousand pounds. But the client will give you that information. Again, click on Stacy value date. Okay, again, for this is you set it up for check and direct debit. So we said that for a check, the amount limit would be £10,000, and for a direct debit, the limit would be £20,000. It was already set up. I set it up the, this last week, so I've been working on it all week. Uh, the next thing we do is we talk about expenses, charges, and again, the client will give you that information. But we said that, you know, that for the first set of charges would be a pound, and for the second set of charges uh, would be a hundred pounds, and then the amount limit would be a thousand pounds. But then again, the client will give you that information to enter into the system. Uh, the last button that you would put, click on to would be House Bank. Again, we'll just type in the company code I've been working on. Okay, and then basically what you do is you set the house bank up, which I had already set the house bank up previously. So that's like an optional method because at some point 
you do have to set up the house bank. You can either set the house bank up when you are initially configuring the system or you can set the house bank up uh, when you're setting up ADP, Automatic Payment Program. But in some point, you know, the house bank will be set up. So basically, uh, I have two bank accounts. One bank account is a business account, and then another bank account is for salary of employees. So we've covered the six things that you have to do to be able to configure AEPP in SAP. It's number one, all company codes. Number two, paying company codes. Number three, payment methods in country. Number four, payment methods in company code. Number five, bank determination. And number six, house bank. And then uh, basically what will happen is you click onto the button and then you have to set up your company code in accordance with all of the folders in that button. And then if you do that, you can't go wrong. And I had already set these up previously, uh, but I just wanted to make a presentation to show you what I had done. And again, your transaction code to set up APP is FBDP. You can only set that up, enter that transaction code in SAP Easy Access Menu. I hope that you've gotten something out of this video, and I know that there are lots of really good videos on YouTube about the SAP Automatic Payment Program.